Welcome to the 2022 IAW TV Awards. For me, the best thing about creating a web series is the web series community. It's global, it's so supportive, and I am honoured to be counted in your ranks. Welcome to the 10th anniversary of the International Academy of Web Television Awards. My name is Tina Cisa Ward. I'm the awards director and executive producer of the IAW TV Awards. And I'm Sandra Payne, executive producer with Tina of the IAW TV Awards. This year, as you can see, we're doing things a little differently by putting on a virtual ceremony. We're so excited to share the wonderful work that was accomplished by so many creators across the globe, especially as much of it was done during such challenging times. As you'll see, our creators dug in and made some incredible series. Our friends at Backstage and TO WebFest have some gifts to help you celebrate your hard work. We're excited to announce that for any of the acting category winners tonight, Backstage will give them a free year of actor subscriptions. In addition, all nominees will get an exclusive code that will allow them to cast on the site, plus the opportunity to sign up for a free crew profile. And the winning series in Best Comedy and Best Drama categories will automatically be official selections in TO WebFest. We congratulate each and every one of our entrants, nominees, and the winners who will be announced tonight. We're especially excited about the opportunity to highlight our creators like never before. You'll see clips from every series and intros by many of our creators. We hope you'll be as inspired as we are. Plus, we hope to see you in person next year. Please enjoy the show. I'm Paula Rhodes from the IWTV Award winning and nominated series, The New Adventures of Peter and Wendy, back in 2015 and 17. Oh my gosh, a lifetime ago. Hi. And I am thrilled to be announcing the next two categories. The nominees for best, best, fe the nominees for a female or leader. Hi, I talk for a living. So much cleavage in those dress. <laughs> Put lipstick on. Okay. Bobby, Bibbit, had a bat, Bobby, seashell, seashell, seashell. <laughs> uh. hmm. The nominees for Best Female Performance in a Comedy are... Do you know what it's like to be? Josephine Rose Roberts. The prize. Congratulations! You won! What do you want? I want you to click on me, Matt. I know everything about you, Matt. I don't give a shit about what you read! Congratulations! You won! Stomp your feet like you are angry! Zana Del Mar, Lost and Found Cowboy, Season 2. Angry! Uh, angry! Not like a frog trying to jump! Just be angry! And Ross Stanley, girl, chill. I thought you said it was barely anything! It's not. We haven't even gotten to your body yet. Do women seriously get this much work done in your office? Well, this is just the start. <laughs> no, I'm not doing this. I'm fine just the way I am. And the winner is... Here are the nominees for Best Male Performance in a Comedy. There's plants. They say if you see a plant, it makes you happy. David Myers. Okay. I'm going to see a plant. I'm going to be happy. I moved out here. My parents said, you're going to struggle. You're not going to have any success. I'm living where there are palm trees. Hi. Are you interested in buying a movie script? Yeah. Always gotta be hustling. Jeff Scarrow, 
Okay. I've watched you commit a litany of gym offenses, grunting and groaning and throwing your weights to the ground. You're always preening yourself in the mirror like a nasty little peacock fanning his feathers. All I wanted was to have a conversation. They asked if you would go to your high school reunion, and this is what I wrote. No, Mark I'm rich and only hang out assistant. with celebrities, hockey players, and occasionally my wife. I don't ever say I'm a rich guy who hangs out with celebrities. I never. You should. Never, I'm launching a new company. What are you doing? Oh, uh, I didn't think you could see. You can see me. Al dente doesn't mean to dent the sticks, Jessica. It means to cook it until it's chewy. And Robert Michael, girl. Okay, I'm gonna let you get back to it. I'll just go work out alone. But I think that Brad would appreciate a toned ass more than some crappy pasta. Coming from the guy without a man. Touche? And the winner is... Hi, I'm Shanna Del Mar and I play Maribel in the second season of web series Lost and Found Cowboy. One of my favorite things of this web series is that I feel free to propose things to my character. And this is very important for me because I feel not only an actress to a creator. The other thing is to mix cultures. I think that this is really funny to a web series like Lost and Found Cowboy because we can share things about our culture and I think that it was really important to the comedy in this project. I love to make web series because I think that it's a good way to, to express that you have in your head, in your heart and in your world. Thank you very much for the nomination and greetings from Spain. Hey everyone, this is David Myers from Bloomywood. And the thing we love most about our series is that we really try to create a sense of community and connect with other artists and build other artists up because we really do think everyone is in this together and we met some amazing people along the way. The other thing we love is that we made a lot of people laugh. A lot of people told me we made them laugh out loud even if they were usually hard to make laugh out loud. And that meant a lot because it's COVID. It's been COVID and people need to laugh. And the biggest takeaway from our series is that laughter is the best medicine. Thank you so much for having us. My biggest takeaway from making the prize in Old Guy at the Gym was the creative freedom that comes from committing artistically to vertical video. <laughs> My name is Yusuf Shufan and I co-host Decolonizing History, a series that features 10 hidden chapters from Quebec and Canada's history. We're proud of this international recognition because it's all these local conversations that lead to a better understanding of each other and help build a better collective history that includes all voices. Le raid policier à l'Estougouche. Environ 300 policiers de la SQ débarquent pour empêcher les mégaments de pêcher le saumon. L'affaire Rabinovitch, c'est un événement antisémite majeur de notre histoire. Les squads anti-émeutes débarquent et la tension monte d'un cran. On a arraché des enfants autochtones à leur famille pour les mettre dans des pensionnats pour tuer l'Indien en eux. C'est pas juste une culture qui a été détruite. C'est important de parler de ça. Mais ce qui est encore plus important, c'est de savoir ce qui doit être réparé. Hi everyone, my name is Ting and I play Claire in The Lying Theory. In this story, Claire has the ability to see the numbers of lies one have told after a traumatic incident when she was a kid. And this caused her to have pretty severe trust issues until she met a boy named Larry who has never lied in his life before. 
So this is a very meaningful story about love and faith. And so thank you to the Academy for the nomination. We hope that everyone will continue to support this five-part webisode and that this story will continue to touch many hearts out there. 很久以前，我许下了一个愿望，得到的却是一个诅咒。我们一定会成为最好的朋友。我得到了一种特异功能，知道一个人这一生撒谎多少次，除了他，他的号码是个零，表示从来没有撒过谎。Салем, достар. Мы создатели сериала Настан. Для нас большая честь, что именно наш сериал будет впервые представлять казанский кинематограф на премии Международной Академии Вебс ТВ. В этом сериале мы попытались рассказать о проблемах, которые волнуют людей во всех странах мира, и мы рады, что наша работа нашла отклик у многих зрителей. Спасибо вам большое. Спасибо. My name is Sandra Payne, and in addition to being an executive producer for the IWTV Awards, I'm also a writer for children, including the show Barney and Puppy Dog Pals, plus some books of my very own. So it is my honor tonight to present a special recognition award in the Best Children's Series category for the show Detention Adventure Season 2. I don't know how you did it, but I do know why. Sir, it wasn't us. Everyone knows you're after Cockshot's treasure. The Detention Adventure 4. Well, something weird just happened. Why don't you trust us? Because you have history. <gasps> That's really rude. I want to help you find Cockshot's lost fortune. What makes you think we can find it? Whoa. Whoa. Guys, look at this. There's a poem. Why does it always have to be a poem? You guys think we have time for one last adventure before high school? I'll cheer the three of you on. The IAW TV Awards extend our deep gratitude to our inaugural jury president, Julie Kalsef, our pool of jurors, and our presenters. Thank you. And a special thank you to our talented graphics editor, Jonathan Robbins, for making this show look fantastic. Hi, IAW TV driver judges. I'm the producer of I Love K Drama, the first ever show created by AIs. Robots was replaced last Sunday, lah. From the PA for doing coffee runs to even uh, award show judges. Uh, I mean, the source code of the show is actually about love story, lah. So not one between two humans, but us and storytelling. Because storytelling is what makes us human. So please enjoy, and uh, thank you for nominating us for the best non-English series. Hey, wait, no, very, uh, no English. Uh, so, thank you. Uh, au revoir. Uh, merci beaucoup. Thank you. Ah, love. Situation change. And there is a secret. Every movie has a secret. To achieve the perfect taste. Hey everyone, please watch our new TV series called Five Plus, or for our international audience called Friends Mates. Our story takes place in a big city where young people are trying to make it as far as relationships, taking responsibilities from one another, and building friendships. First two months, 59 million people has watched our series on a big platform called Adnaklasinki. And the full version you can watch on Amazon.com. Enjoy the show. Добро пожаловать в мою холостяцкую мерлогу, детка. 
Ты, наверное, часто сюда девушек водишь? Нет, не часто. Такая, как ты у меня впервые. Какая такая? Фантастическая. Фантастическая? Да. Угу. Стой. Мы тут одни. Шалом алейхам. I'm Jamie, a.k.a. Jaime, from Yid Life Crisis, and we won the IAW TV Award for Best Non-English Language Series back in 2017. It is now our COVID, uh, sorry, that's Yiddish, bad choice of words. It is our honor to present this year's IAW TV Awards for Best Non-English Language Series. And the nominees are... Five Plus, Russian Federation. Ты, наверное, часто сюда девушек водишь? Нет, не часто. Такая, как ты у меня впервые. Какая такая? Decolonizing History, Canada. Débarque et l'attention monte d'un cran. On a arraché des enfants autochtones à leur famille pour les mettre dans des pensionnats pour tuer l'Indien. Night Witches, Kazakhstan. The Lying Theory, Singapore. Do you know one person this life has been lost many times? Except him. His phone number is a zero. It means he has never been lost. AI Love K Drama, Singapore. The perfect smell. My computer records the numbers of TV shows more than human brain. It's over. It's done. And a big Mazel Tov, Shkoyach, to the winner. For best non-English language series, IAW TV, the award goes to... Hi, I'm Kristen Burt, and I won Best Host back in 2012, a decade ago, for The Web Files. And here are the nominees for Best Host. In your hands. Christopher Showerman, The Path of Leashed Resistance. Back to the base of the fence. Bend your knees to bring your face within kissing distance of the ground. Then drive your heels back into the fence foundation to load up the front of your quads and rocket you forward like a low flying superhero. I don't consider this. Josh problem. Chernoff. No, no, no. So it says Chernoff. First step in fixing something like this is honesty. And that's sometimes the hardest place to get to, but the Freedmen's clearly have no problem being honest about how they feel. The only problem is, well, how they feel. And the winner is... Hi, everyone. My name is Shachov Dekel and I'm here to introduce my web series, Culture Treasures. Culture Treasures highlights the impact of art in the world. It features unique creators and cultural venues worldwide. Each episode focuses on one creator from all fields of art and design and shares their insight into their concept and purpose of their creation. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for the nomination. I always try to understand what the actual impact of art is and whether it's uh, something that is practical or not and whether it needs to be practical in order for it to be impactful. Hello, my name is Dan Smith. My project is about refugees and migrants from Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, and Africa. The concept is to use their own words to describe why and how they made these journeys, and also the challenges they face in terms of adapting and being adopted by a new culture. Yes. 
and uh, just asking for our rights like humans. Hi, my name is Tony E. Valenzuela, and in 2012, I won the IAWTV Award for Best Editing for my show, an ongoing show, Black Box TV. Here are the nominees for Best Editing. Melanie Anon for Cancelled. And love. Yet we struggled, and I think I think that's okay. I th think we all have. Griffin Davis for Orbital Redux. We are going in five. Oh, goody. It's been at least an hour since anything's blown up on this ship. And the winner for best editing is... Here are the nominees for Best Original Music. Kim Moyes for Phenomena. Diaz and Jeter Klimby for Cat Raps. And Orbital Redux. And the winner for Best Original Music is... Hello, I'm Joseph, the writer and director of Phenomena. Phenomena is an experimental documentary series that explores the world around us using science, art, and music. What's really cool is we create all the patterns and visuals in camera, so everything you see is a true representation of how the universe really works. Enjoy. Hi everyone, I'm Tal, I'm the producer of The Hitchhikers. This web series is about the people on the sides of the roads and the sides of the uh, Israel society. Uh, in this fifth season, all, the, all our characters are women. Uh, I think and we believe that uh, it gives a, a peek into what it means to be a woman, uh, especially nowadays. Thank you and have a meaningful viewing. הייתה לי פליטת פה כזה שאמרתי, וואו, אלה שעושים בדיקת קורונה, הכניסו את המטרש באף שלי עד הסוף, ואני כמעט התעלפתי. אז אמרתי, מה? עשיתי בדיקת קורונה? אז התחילו צעקות. ירוק עוד מעט. ירוק, סליחה. אני אישה, יכולה לעשות כמה דברים ביחד. אני לא יכול. אני יכולה גם לנהוג ולדבר. אני נתפסתי בסיפור, אני בכלל ידעתי שיש את הרמזור ירוק. I'm Sophie Schrand, creator and host of Science with Sophie, a science comedy series for girls and everyone. We are the 2018 winner of Best Children's Series. And this year's nominees for Best Documentary or Educational Series are... Culture Treasures. I always try to understand what the actual impact of art is and whether it's uh, something that is practical or not and whether it needs to be practical in order for it to be impactful. If anything bad or series. we didn't fight anyone, it was like peace uh, demos and uh, just asking for our rights like humans. 
and that Kurdish people are part of this country. Phenomena. וואו, אלה שעושים בדיקת קורונה, הכניסו את המטוש באף שלי עד הסוף, ואני כמעט התעלפתי. אז אמרו לי, מה? עשית בדיקת קורונה? אז תתחילו צעקות. היי, אני כריסטופר שאוורמן. The thing I loved about our series, The Path of Leashed Resistance, was that for no money down and the price of a couple of dog leashes, we were inspiring and empowering people to take control of their own fitness, while hopefully instilling a respect, if not a love, for their local parks and green spaces. What I got the most out of making my web show, Cat Raps, is just the happiness. It brought so many people and all the kind words. Uh, my mom's a registered nurse, and she used to tell me stories about how she showed cat raps to her patients. and how it like instantly put a smile on their face and brighten up that day. So stories like that mean a lot and um, I really appreciate the fact that I got to share my cat Jeter with the world because I know how special he is and how much he means to me. So to be able to do that means a lot as well. Hi there, this is Eamon Jaffrey and I'm coming to you from Ottawa, Canada. I'm also the creator of the doc web series, The Secret Lives of Public Servants, which won in 2018 for best directing in nonfiction. And here are this year's nominees. I Culture always treasures. try to understand what the actual impact of art is and whether it's uh, something that is practical or not and whether it needs to be practical in order for it to be impactful. And phenomena. And the winner is... Hey everyone, my name is Mike DeVore and I'm the creator of the animated web series Max and Friends. With the help of a talented group of people, we were able to put together a fun show that we're all proud of during the pandemic. We are excited to be a part of this and we're extremely grateful to be nominated. With that being said, please enjoy Max and Friends. I would like to uh, adopt a dog. This one is Daisy. She has anxiety. This one here is a Siberian Husky named Dimitri. This last one here is a Beagle Corgi mix named Milo. He's just fat. Ugh, what am I gonna do with three dogs? Let's go get some tacos, bro. Hello. Thank you for having me and my project Forest League in your festival this year. I'm very happy and proud about that. Thank you very much. All the way from the far east of Asia. His name is the Kimchi Warrior. Hi, I'm Henry, one of the two directors for this series. Kronos is an animated series that tells of a story of how three police officers travel back in time to solve an unsolved cold case in Singapore. This story is actually inspired by a real murder case that took place in 1979. With the help of the latest forensic technology, will the cold case finally be resolved? Please watch Kronos to see how the three police officers solved the cold case. Thank you. I think you still don't understand the seriousness of this matter. Your actions have caused a fracture in history. It has already altered people's lives. Imagine if someone stops the murder of JFK. The whole entire history of the United States will be altered. You and I might not even exist. Hi, I'm Justin Marchert, former IAWTV nominee for my animated show Fantasy Hospital in 2017. Here are the nominees for Best Animated Series.
This one is Daisy. She has anxiety. This Max one and here friends. is a Siberian husky named Dimitri. This last one here is a beagle corgi mix named Milo. Forest League. The Kronos. don't understand the seriousness of this matter. Your actions have caused a fracture in history. It has already altered people's lives. And the winner is... My favorite thing about Orbital Redux was the wonderful family that we created because it took so many people to do this. And I love the community that we created with it. Yeah, here, here. But for me, I really love that the theme at the heart of Orbital came through on all levels, that if two people can learn to overcome their differences and work together, that anything is possible. And I like that that's also a metaphor for our current times about what we need to achieve. I really loved that because we filmed everything live, the choices that our talent were making in the moment were immediately canonical. It meant that everything mattered, every choice that was made, everything that we did, that was the show. Hi guys, it's Darren Strauss, the creator of I Am You. The thing that I love most about this series is that we made it entirely in quarantine, entirely remotely, and I was really surprised at how cool it turned out. Hi, I'm Glenn Dolman, the writer of High Life, which won an IAW TV award in 2017. And the nominees for best writing in drama are... Michael Slade and Kevin Spertas for After Forever Season 2. I want, I want you to have fought harder, to stick around. I know, I know, you, you thought I was being selfish, so I backed off, I played the it's his decision game to the hill. What do we do? Maria Albiana and Luke Eve for Cancelled. I'm gonna getting us our food. You're having to translate and organize everything. Like a fucking tourist here. I have run Darren Strauss, on your life. I am I you. predicted that something terrible will happen to you. I am reaching out to help you save yourself. Any questions? Juliana Roth, the university. Colleges are under a lot of pressure to do the right thing. I know how serious of an issue this is, but I didn't do what she's saying I did. I don't want to say anything bad about Abby but this just isn't true. And Stephen Calcote for really Orbital Redux. <sighs> but I promise I will try really, really hard. I hate failing just as much as you do. And the winner is... Hi, I'm Mark Malkoff, the creator of Celebrity Assistant. It features the comedic talents of Dave Coulier from Full House, the star of Netflix's Somebody Feed Bill, Bill Rosenthal, and also SCTV's Dave Thomas. We had so much fun. They have to deal with a self-absorbed, rude, and lazy, and just downright terrible personal assistant, Mark Malkoff. You told me to be proactive. So I spent four hours yesterday trying to get Skating with the Stars erased from your IMDb. Why, why would you do that? I thought the show sucked. Well, I'm not going to fire you. I'm just not going to hire you. Will you write a recommendation to Sandra Bullock? No. She's... Hi, my name is Matt Yeager and Josephine Rose Roberts, Jeff Scaron, and I made the prize.
The prize was based on an idea I came up with like eight years ago and I thought it was ephemeral then and I just cannot believe that it's still completely relevant. We filmed the prize on an iPhone and it was vertical so it was the first time we really like committed to both of those things and we found it to be absolutely creatively liberating. It gets a little crazy toward the end. Josie and I had to shoot all that ourselves uh, and using the iPhone was the only way we could do that. Thank you to Rizzle Studios for giving us this opportunity and we hope you enjoy the prize. Hey, have you ever seen an ad on an article that talks to you? Congratulations, you won! I figured out what's going on. I know everything about you, Matt. Stop, stop, stop it! The ad! She's everywhere. Hi, I'm Adam Schwartz. And I'm Talia Lynn. And we're the creators of We Need Space, which is what I like to call a live action webcomic about a married couple who just happen to work together on the same spaceship. So they're stuck together. This project was inspired by the fact that Adam and I still wanted to create content together, even though we were forced to quarantine separately. So every single bit of this was filmed in separate places at separate times. We're so honored to be nominated for this award. So thank you so much. We Need Space. Join Captains Todd and Carol Moon of the ESS Paradise on their space adventure to save the galaxy. Action, excitement, bickering. Don't you even oh, try to Oh, come on. You're so much better don't, at it than don't, I am, and don't, I don't want to do your it. Turn. Please, you just do it. Just do it. Just... We Need Space, starring Adam Schwartz and Talia Lynn. In space, no one can hear you sigh. My name is Terry Dawson, creator of the web series, A Whole New Irving, which was a 2017 IWTV award winner. So great to be back. It's like coming home. And here are the nominees for best writing comedy. My parents said, you're gonna struggle. You're not gonna have any success. I'm living where there are palm trees. Hi. Hi. You interested in buying a movie script? No. Always got to be hustling. This one here Maximum is a friends. Siberian husky named Dimitri. This last one here is a beagle corgi mix named Milo. He's just fat. Ugh, what am I going to do with three dogs? When Jonathan Coachman is under the WWE, Mike Fevers, extreme try to blow wrestling. It up? I mean, you did. You could have hurt him. You won. I figured out the prize. Going on. I know everything about you, man. Stop, stop, stop it. The ad! She's everywhere. He told me to be Celebrity proactive. Assistant. So I spent four hours yesterday trying to get Skating with the Stars erased from your IMDB. Why, why would you do that? I thought the show sucked. And the winner is... And here are the nominees for Best Directing Comedy. You've done some Mike Phoebus, Extreme Wrestling. Up at my father's wake was a little weird. Check it out sideways. Whoa! You look like Ryan Reynolds from the side. Hey, why, why would you do that? Celebrity I thought assistant. the show sucked. Well, I'm not going to fire you. I'm just not going to hire you. Will you write a recommendation to Sandra Bullock? No. Because I know she's... And the winner is. Hi guys, it's Darren Strauss, the creator of I Am You, a series about a woman who receives a direct message from an AI version of herself that has predicted that something terrible will happen to her in the future and how she must save herself. I played the trailer for my mom and she said that it was too scary. <laughs> so I hope you like it. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. Don't be scared. I am you, Acacia. The virtual version of you, that is. I have run several different scenarios on your life and I have predicted that something terrible will happen to you. I am reaching out to help you save yourself. 
Any questions? Hey everybody, this is Billy Hansen. I am the creator, writer, and director of the series Intruders. This project came together quicker than anything I think I've ever done before. I believe we had two weeks to write it, produce it, edit, and post it. We had a ton of fun making it. It was really fun playing with that vertical format in, uh, in telling a suspense story. So thank you to IAWTV. Hopefully we'll be able to do more someday. Hi, I am PJ Palmer, and I am the creator of the vertical drama series titled At Ghosted Life, which is also our handle. You'll find us on Instagram. Uh, At Ghosted Life is stories told from the point of view of ghosts that are here in New York City. I hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Erin Good, writer and director of Jade of Death from the IAW TV Awards in 2017. And the nominees for Best Directing Drama are... I think I've struggled... Luke Eve with Cancelled. Being locked down, losing our jobs, being surrounded by all this sadness and death. Alex, you don't have to Anthony do Anderson with Anacostia. Really macaroni and cheese, that. and you love my greens. And I'm Alex, you don't really have to do talk. that. Be quiet! Just let me do it. Just let me do it. <laughs> Stephen Calcote with Orbital Reduct. And you and Mark are going to be awesome dads. What will be the name of the star child? I don't know. I figured, uh, her egg. She gets to choose the name. Yep. Yeah. And the winner is. Creating my web series Girl Chill has taught me that anything is possible. Even if you only have $2,000, you can create a full half-hour web series. The thing I most love about Shakespeare Republic is being able to showcase so many brilliant, talented, lovely fellow creatives, both in front of the camera and behind the scenes. From my incredibly wonderful fellow ensemble members, to my extraordinary crew. They are just the most amazing group of people from here in Australia and also now with season three around the world. So I am really delighted and privileged to be able to work with these people and I'm really thrilled that I get to share their amazing work performing Shakespeare with the world. Hi there. My name is Christopher Graham, and in 2018, I had the honor of winning the IAW TV Award for Best Male Performance in a Comedy for my portrayal of What a Lark in the web series What a Lark. Here are the nominees for Best Ensemble Drama. <music> Was it? Or is that the mythology you built? After Forever, season two. Come here. Maybe I don't want Brian with a wonderful guy. <laughs> Somehow might make him forget Jason. He's never been forgetting. What? <laughs> I'm in. Anacostia. Right, and let me make you dinner. 
You know, well, Alex, you know, I'm a very Alex, you don't have to do that. And I make this fried chicken Alex, and really macaroni and cheese, that. and you'll love my greens. And but I Alex, this you really don't have to do chocolate. that. Be quiet! Just let me do it. Just let me do it. Night witches. Shakespeare Studying Republic, hashtag all the webs of stage, where I live the lockdown the chronicles. And for because the world is populous, and here is not a creature but myself, I cannot do it. Yet I'll hammer it out. I sent in the last of the paperwork. Orbital yeah. Redux. Orbital said that we'd get started right away. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Isn't that weird though? Not at all. And you and Mark are going to be awesome dads. What will be the name of the star child? I don't know. I figured, uh, her egg, she gets to choose the name. Yep. And the winner is... Now for the groups of performers who gave us some much needed levity this year. Here are the nominees for Best Ensemble Comedy. I would like to uh, Max adopt and friends. a dog. This one is Daisy. She has anxiety. This one here is a Siberian Husky named Dimitri. This last one here is a Beagle Corgi mix named Milo. He's just fat. Ugh, what am I gonna do with three dogs? I've been training. Mike right, Phoebus, right. extreme WWE wrestling. But they won't let me in. I mean, you are a monumental pain in my You've got a head the size of a pimp. Is, is this what they say on the internet is a heel turn? What is your biggest regret in life? This interview. Yes. The first line of the recommendation would be, Celebrity Here's assistant. Why you might not want Mark to be a personal assistant because I came home one day and found his grandfather in my house in his underwear. I was a huge fan of yours. And this is me with one less fan. Maybe this isn't working out. Wait, am me. I getting fired by Uncle Joey? Don't be mad at me. Darren called me and told me to come with him. Okay, Jessica, not helping. I'm just saying. Be just girl chill. Sure you were okay. I'm fine, okay? I'm absolutely fine. Enjoys hockey um, and spending time with his two daughters. Oh, and going fishing on the lake. <laughs> and the winner is. Hi, I'm Kevin Spiritus. When I met my After Forever collaborator and writing partner, the late Michael Slade, as creators, the two of us wanted to create something that was largely missing from the canvas of television and film. We wanted to create a touching, funny, and honest love story about two middle-aged gay men, their friends, and family. Our first season introduced Brian and Jason in the world through present time, flashbacks, and Brian's imagination as he copes with Jason's death to cancer one year ago. Season two continues to be heartfelt and humorous as Brian tries to move forward with a new relationship, but still can't let go of Jason. Here's After Forever. It was always so easy with you. Was it? Or is that the mythology you built? Maybe I don't want Brian with a wonderful guy. <laughs> Someone who might make him forget Jason. He's never been forgetting. <laughs> If I want to have a future, I need you gone. G'day, I'm Beck Bignall, the creator of Homespun. I'm coming to you from beautiful sunny WA. We are so excited to be a nominee in the drama category. Homespun is a labour of love. It was made by over 100 people from regional Australia and it really celebrates country people. It showcases everyone in a very different, exciting light and we've got lots of new ideas and exciting points of view. Uh, we're very excited for you guys to see it, so thank you so much.
My name is Daniel Yum and I'm the creator for the Miracle Bubble Shop. It is a fantasy web series where people get a last chance to resolve their regrets after their death. It is really a cautionary tale to remind us about the most important things in our life before our time runs out. I want to take this opportunity to thank Vitsi for always giving us opportunity to tell great stories. I want to thank IAWTV for this recognition. No! Death comes to everyone. No! I'm here to help. Do you wish to see him one last time? Let me see the dying wish. Hi, my name is Kim Estes, and I'm a former host. Uh, I was actually with you at the 2017 IAW TV Awards, and I also won an Emmy for the short form series Dicks. Here are the nominees for the best female performance drama. <laughs> Brian Katie Lee Huffman, Abby. After Forever Season 2. And when I see him with David, it just makes Jason being gone realer. And on a night like tonight, I just miss him so much. He hasn't changed a thing. Anita Gillette, photo After Forever Season the 2. the towels. Stop worrying. It's what I do. <laughs> I, I can't worry about Jason anymore, so I have to have someone to worry about. Maria Albignan. I've been there for you. I've been there for Tamika Selena. I've been Chavis there for Scott. And Acostia. I've been there for everyone. Everyone. But who's going to be there for me? Why can't you be there for me? Hello. Nice Suzanne to meet you. Suzanne Lenz. Don't be scared. I am you. I am you, Acacia. The virtual version of you, that is. I have run several different scenarios on your life and I have predicted that something terrible will happen to you. I am reaching out to help you save yourself. Any questions? It's like a paint could take a dime-sized chunk out of our ship anytime it pleases. Yasmin Al-Bustami, Orbital Redux. Oh, hey, by the way, what's a dime? Stop it. <laughs> it's not gonna work out, is it? And the winner is... And now on to the nominees for Best Male Performance Drama. Kevin Spiritus. To be here. After forever, to help me through this and to hold me like you used to. I don't think I want that. And I want you to have fought harder, to stick around. I know, I know. You, you thought I was being selfish, so I backed off. I played the it's his decision game to the hilt. It doesn't mean it's what I wanted. You don't have to get rid of everything. Mitchell Anderson, you After Forever, me? season two. That that piece, that's us. In time, I will be able to put it back. But Bullshit. Now. Bullshit. You take that down, you put it away somewhere, you'll never rehang it. What's wrong? Standing there clapping while people are dying. Luke Eve. Cancelled. I feel useless. What are we doing? Baby. Anna and some woman named Carmen are getting us our food. You're having to translate and... Organize everything. Like a fucking tourist here. No, he should have told you. Anthony so. Anderson. Yeah, you should have. Because guess what? I would have been pissed off. I would have been angry. 
but I would have gotten over it. That's what friends do. We fight and we get over shit. Ooh, why, why can't we do that now? Because I don't trust you. Curtis, you know Curtis Ortiz? Keith Grimes, single man problems. You will never reach seat level because you're too busy drowning in your own lives. You tried to bring me down with you. That's fucked up. Do you actually want to do this? No, of course not. I'm fucking terrified. This is a really bad idea, remember? Yuri Lowenthal, Orbital Redux. But I promise I will try really, really hard. I hate failing just as much as you do. Well, we'll always have that at least. And the winner is... Hi everyone, my name is Jenna Lorenzo and I'm the creator of Girl Night Stand. And on behalf of the entire Girl Night Stand team, we wanted to say thank you so much for including us in this 2022 lineup, surrounded by all these amazing content creators and talented filmmakers. It's such an honor. We look forward to checking out everyone else's work and we hope you enjoy Girl Night Stand. Thanks again. Barclay and I'm the creator, writer, and one of the producers of the show Human Telegraphs, which is about three friends in New York City who form an in-person message delivery business and get entangled in the private affairs of their customers. A huge thank you to IWTV Awards for this nomination and congratulations to our fellow nominees. I still can't believe Mrs. Goldberg evicted us. That's what happens when you don't pay rent. How oh, is this my life now? We don't have to live like this at the edge of the world. Don't be dramatic. Coney Island is at the end of a subway line. We have messages to deliver today, right? Let's do this. Is this some sort of fad? It's not a fad. We're a message delivery service. Two messages delivered in my office in one day. We're running an office promotion right now. We're on the cover of The Post. Have we hit the jackpot? We are in the money. One of the biggest takeaways in creating a web series was the importance of connecting content and form. We had these parameters that we had to fit within and it led us to this creative that we would have never thought of before. So my biggest takeaway from the show was that you can trust your audience to care about your characters, to care about your story, and to help you make an amazing piece of work together. And uh, my literal takeaway is the earth traffic control sign from the set which now lives on our office door. And my biggest takeaway is that no matter the obstacles and no matter how impossible something seems with the right group of people, you can make it happen. And of course I stole this uh, fancy Roscosmos Russian space agency hat from wardrobe. Shh, don't tell anyone. And very similar to what you guys came up with that when a cast and a crew and an audience all feel like they own a show, then they can make absolutely anything come true. And the piece that I saved is my mission control jacket inspired by Gene Krantz um, that I wore for every episode since we did it live in one take. Hey everyone, my name is Billy Hansen. I am the creator of the series, Everyone Else is Asleep. This series is like no other project I've ever done before. I wrote a short story a few years ago that's always been kind of near and dear to my heart and I had a very unique opportunity to adapt it for this vertical format. I'm immensely proud of this. Uh, I think we've achieved something really interesting. Uh, a huge thank you to everyone at IWTV uh, and everyone who watched. Nothing bores me more than knowing exactly what's going to happen from minute to minute. But something is wrong. Michael sees the confusion on my face. You haven't seen them. Right on cue. 
this is a nightmare. Hi, I'm Henry Evans, one of the producers of Connect To You. Connect To You is a sci-fi thriller about a self-help app. You can find our short form series on the Rizzle app. Hope you enjoy. Hello, I'm Connect, an AI life coach proven to get you on a path to more joyful living. Hello, Laura. Welcome to Connect To You. This program is, is a little intense. You aren't allowing yourself to commit. Apparently, he received a message from me saying to never contact me again. I can give you the life you've always dreamed of. I quit. You can't. I'm connected to you. My name is Mark Gant. I'm an actor, writer, director, producer with a wide range of credits, including The Bandon Way, which was an early sensation in the web world in 2009, 2010. So I know what it's like to be an early adopter of a new format. That's why I'm pleased to acknowledge the first awards for the IAWTV in the vertical format. Like traditional web series, it has expanded the art form and we look forward to seeing where it goes in the years to come. The nominees for best vertical drama series. So Intruders. Michael Everyone sees the confusion on my face. Sleep. You haven't seen them. Right on cue. Come to connect to you. This program is, is a little intense. You aren't allowing yourself to commit. Apparently he received a message from me saying to never contact me again. I can give you the life you've always dreamed of. I quit. Ghosted life. Nice to meet you. Don't be scared. I am you, Acacia. The virtual version of you, that is. And the winner is... Abandoned Ship is about a boat charter captain who has some very unusual guests one day. He winds up in sort of a Groundhog Day situation and he can't seem to stop his guests from killing each other. This particular film was pretty fun to shoot, not only because of the subject matter, but also because the entire thing is set on a sailboat, which gave us a pretty fun backdrop to tell the story. From the coastal boot ride, eh? Aye, aye, scallywags. Oh my god, I love this guy. <laughs> Grayson, I want to take a picture. What is this text? You two are sleeping together? Lila, I wouldn't do that. No, 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 no! This is the Coastal Boot Ride, eh? Hi, I'm Mark Malkoff. I'm the creator and lead of Mike Phoebus, extreme wrestling fan. I grew up as a kid loving professional wrestling. I love the theatrics. I loved the promos. I loved the wrestler's commitment to characters. I thought it would be funny to play with the idea of an overly obsessed wrestling fan who is convinced that wrestling is real. Thank you to all the real life professional wrestlers. This was a lot of fun. When Jonathan Coachman is under the WWE ring, why would you try to blow it up? I mean, you did, you could have hurt him. You've done some things, you know, showing up at my father's wake was a little weird. Check it out sideways. Whoa! You look like Ryan Reynolds from the side. And here are the nominees for the best vertical comedy series. When Jonathan Coachman is under the WWE ring, why would you try to blow it up? I mean, you did. You could have hurt him. Have you ever seen an ad on an article that talks to you? Congratulations. You won. I figured out what's going on. I know everything about you, Matt. Stop, stop it, stop it! The ad. 
celebrity assistant. You told me to be proactive. So I spent four hours yesterday trying to get Skating with the Stars erased from your IMDb. We need space. We need space. Join Captains Todd and Carol Moon of the ESS Paradise on their space adventure to save the galaxy. Abandoned ship. Jason, I want to take a picture. What is this text? You two are sleeping together? Lila, I wouldn't do that. No, 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 no! And the winner is... Hi everybody, my name is Emran Halim and I'm the creator of City Vampire. I had a ball of a time making this series and I hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I did making it. Um, it's a fun little flick. Uh, it is a little bloody, it's a little bit romantic, but above all, it is really a story about friendship and confidence and how we carry ourselves. So lean back and enjoy City Vampire. My name is Siti Farhana Salihin. Three days ago, my life was going great. And just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, yep, I was bitten by a vampire. And I turned into one. You've been a very bad girl these days. Hi, my name is Leah Cameron, and I'm the creator, head writer, and director of a digital comedy called The Communist Daughter. Uh, the show is a labor of love as it's loosely based on my childhood. My dad went through um, a pretty intense communist Marxist phase at the height of the Reagan 80s. Uh, it took the love of a lot of people to get the show made. So enjoy. I hereby put a motion on the floor to get cable TV. Don't be ridiculous for us. Motion denied. We are communists, yes, but small C. I don't give a shit. Communist is considered a bad word in these parts. I like feminist. Uh, well, not that bad, but yes. Are you sure you want to wear that on your first day? High school is a test. I'm not caving. I've decided to throw my hat in the ring and run in the upcoming election. Hi, I'm Kim Evie, and I am the producer of the 2012 IAWTV Best Comedy Series, The Guild. I thought that I would take advantage of the fact that we are not in a theater and come outside and celebrate California's beautiful weather. So here are the nominees for Best Comedy Series. I'm building a spaceship and I want you to pilot it. It's for this show oh, where you, you had me at spaceship. Yes. <laughs> Steven, how are we going to film this? Well, Lillian, I was thinking we would film each episode in one take completely live. Oh, oh my God. God. And that's how Orbital Redux was born. And we are so happy to share this space adventure with you. Anything's possible when you learn to work together. Right. IAWTV, thank you. I still haven't forgiven you for ordering that 20 foot techno crane though. Breaking the tension with a space dad dance. Oh, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Luke Eve. Hi, this is Maria Albinena. And we are the creators, writers, and producers of Cancelled. And also the cast and crew of Cancelled since we had to shoot it on our mobile phone during lockdown. It is based on a real life story of how we had to cancel our own wedding during the pandemic and go into lockdown with his mom. That's true. <laughs> it's available to watch on Facebook Watch.
Mientras, la pandemia sigue sembrando el pánico en todo el mundo. Y en España, el número de contagiados sigue aumentando. Más de 4.000 contagiados y 120 fallecidos. We have to cancel the wedding. Hi, my name is Julie Kalsif. I'm the 2022 IAWTV Awards Jury President. I have the pleasure today of introducing the award for Best Drama Series. And the nominees are... If I want to have a future, I need you gone. Cancel The winner of Best Drama Series for 2022 is... Thank you for watching the 2022 IAWTV Awards. My name is Julianne Emery, and 10 years ago, at the very first IAWTV Awards, I was nominated for my show, Then We Got Help. And we had stiff competition that night, including Felicia Day's The Guild, which very deservedly took home the award for Best Comedy. Since then we got help. I've played some very nice roles in award-winning television like Fargo, Better Call Saul, Catch-22, and I recently wrapped filming for Oscar winner John Ridley and Carlton Cuse, Five Days at Memorial for Apple TV. But for me, nothing compares to being a guerrilla filmmaker on my digital series. There is no greater creativity or innovation that happens than when you have to figure out how to make it work for the $5 in your pocket, the talented group of friends you can assemble, and the dream of the story in your head. And to shoot an independent series during a worldwide pandemic is just astounding to me. You continued to push your stories out into the world during the most challenging time of our creative, professional, and personal lives. Give yourselves a big hand for that. Congratulations. It's amazing. But you know, and I know, that there is no one better suited to creative problem solving, perseverance, and just sheer grit than the filmmakers and producers who decide to pick up a camera and shoot an independent series. We are a breed all our own. No one will ever understand you or what it takes better than the peers sitting in this virtual room with you tonight. I would like to thank IAWTV for the spotlight it showed on my show back in 2012. It changed the way the industry viewed me and it cracked open doors that had previously been slammed shut. It can do that for you too. Just keep going. Keep creating, keep dreaming, and we will see you back here next year. Thank you and good night, everybody.